Banjo Ben, here again for Banjo Ben Clark C-Lick. C-Lick? Who does a C-Lick? I got you. I know some of you are out there in G position ready for it. Not today. We're doing a C. Howdy. Welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. This is your home for instructional videos and tabs for banjo, guitar, and mandolin. Today we're playing out of the position of C. We're capoed up four, but out of the position of C. So that would be the key of E. Right, and we're going to do a little bit of cross picking today out of that C position, and we're going to use a traditional old gospel tune that uh, off of the Skaggs and Rice album to help us do that. This is one called "Where the Soul of Man Never Dies." If you don't have that record, Skaggs and Rice, go get it. If you don't buy anything else today, go get that record. Um, it will enlighten you. It's just as good as it gets as far as just basic, stripped down, hardcore bluegrass. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to start it out playing uh, something really, really close to the turnaround that Tony plays in it. Then I'm going to sing a verse, go through that progression, which is the same progression as what we play over. And then instead of singing the chorus, I'm just going to go right back into another turnaround, uh, something that I made up. It starts out a lot like Tony's, but then it goes off a little bit different. This way you'll have two different versions of this to play. And uh, then you'll be all fixed up. You'll be ready to go. And even if you never want to play this song, you'll have some great licks out of C. All right? Amazing how that works. All right, so uh, let me play it for you, then we'll do the normal stuff. We'll slow it down and talk all about it. good, isn't it? I'm telling you, it's amazing how uh, simple stuff is so good. And of course, I don't do it justice. Uh, if you don't have that record, you're really missing out. So I really encourage you to go get that. And then at the very end of the video, I'm going to have some backup tracks for you. I'm just going to get my guitar and I'm going to play backup for you at three different speeds. So that as you learn this song, when you get the tabs off of the site here, um, you can have somebody to play with you. And so really you've got everything you need right here. Video slowed down, tab, and somebody to play back up for you. So let's slow down the Tony's half of it and then we'll talk about it. One and two and three and four and one and... <laughs> Show. What I'd like to encourage you to do now um, is go over to the um, left hand side of the site there in that red box it says member area and download the tab for uh, this song and that way as I talk about it uh, you don't just have to remember what I say you can actually glance at the tab and follow along and that'll make it a whole lot easier to learn I promise you but I've played that uh, Tony's version of it twice really, really slow one time, and then kind of a more medium tempo. And uh, the first thing you notice is he's got a little kickoff. Um, it's, uh, 
it starts on the third fret of the uh, of the low E string there. And what he does, he starts it a measure before uh, when when he wants to start his break. It's just it's known as a pickup. He's playing a pickup to his break. He starts it on the second beat. That's why I counted when I said one and two and three and four and one and boom. Mm. Then he'll start. It's important to start it at the right time, especially when you're playing with my backup tracks um, at the end of this video. Um, it'll be really important so that you'll know when to come in. But you'll start that on the two of that second measure count off. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. You hear how that works? Two and three and four and one. Okay? And immediately what Tony does is goes into this C position. Okay? He's, um, he's hammering on to the second fret there and doing kind of this little cross picking move. Hammer, He's just following the melody. Okay, he's playing the most simplistic melody with a few cross picking notes wrapped around it. And what I'd like for you to keep in mind when you're playing this is to accent that melody. It wouldn't really. Um, sound great if we played all the notes equal at equal volume if I went I didn't play it very good but you see what I'm saying what we want to do is accentuate the melody so it sounds like this see these second two notes that I'm playing there I play those with the lighter touch and that's exactly what Tony does when you really listen close to Tony's stuff there's a lot of, and a lot of great pickers, not just Tony, but there's a lot of just kind of ghost notes in there. He plays really lightly, and you don't pick it up on uh, maybe on the first listen. But then as you, um, as you listen down to it, you'll start picking those things up, and, and it really makes the song. Okay, so as we go into that third measure, as you look there at your tab, um, it's, that's where we get into some true cross picking. The second half of that measure, and it's just those four notes of that C chord. Okay, now I want you to notice one thing. I'm keeping my pick strokes with my right hand here. I'm keeping those true and correct. And on the tab below each one of these notes, there's a pick stroke direction. It's very important to, to, uh, to, to stay accurate with that. When we do that hammer on there, that takes the place of our upstroke. Down, up, and then we're going to start with a down, and then it's tough, but we got to reach back down with an upstroke on this low D string. Okay, that's that's one thing that, that took me a while to get, and it's still hard to do it at really high speeds. But we need to be able to do that, play a downstroke on a string way down here, and then come back with an upstroke on a string way down there. Okay, it's a good thing to practice, but I don't like to just sit around and practice things just to practice them. That gets boring, so I love working it into songs like this. So if you like to play this song, you're really working on your exercises and your mechanics as well. They got